Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it is time for the Zat Saturday vloggy thing, whatever this is. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome in. On Saturdays, I kind of go over uh, what's been going on for the week in the life and stuff portion, go over what crochet that I've done, and just whatever else pops into my noggin. Um, throughout the week, there are other things as well, because my mind and my world is a crazy place. My channel might as well be too, but welcome in. If you've been here before, you know the drill. You know it's crazy around here, and yet you keep coming back, and that's why I love you. So, yeah. <laughs> Getting into the life and stuff first. Um, oh, my tomatoes. I did stop those caterpillar wormy things from invading, but it looks like it has snowed flour all over my tomato plants because I took that stuff out there that the diamaceous earth that I was told about I got the food grade so that you know it's not gonna like poison me or kill me or something and I went out there and it was dark and I'm like sprinkling it everywhere I got my mask on and I'm sprinkling it it ended up all over the side of the house it was all over everything I still had a few of those caterpillars on places that I didn't get the dust on but those seem to have been calmed down yay now I am not a gardener. This is my first time doing all of this stuff. I'm getting, I've gotten three tomatoes now. Three. None of them bigger than this. <laughs> they're all so small, but they're tasty. So, yes, I have eaten my tomatoes. Um, and I will eat any other red tomatoes that end up coming off of these. I just don't think there's going to be a big bountiful harvest, which is probably good because it's only me eating them. Yeah. The hubby likes tomatoes just fine, they just don't like him, problems with his stomach with them, so they're pretty much all mine. I also have a couple of chocolate cherry peppers that you will see out there, or chocolate peppers, chocolate some kind of peppers, I don't remember which. They're looking so pretty, and I'm hoping to get to experience those. Also, somebody tell me, I, I, I can look it up, but it's more fun if you guys tell me. Um, the sangria peppers, the, the little ornamental ones that are so cute and so pretty and so many of them in this little pot. Can you eat those or are they just for pretty? Please tell me down below because I want to know. If I can eat them, I'll certainly try them. You know, why not? Uh, <laughs> nothing else has really come up yet or come out yet. Um, but I'm just tickled that I have anything at all. This is totally a new experience for me. Okay, yes, this is my pride dress for pride month um, that I got from Tord. Yes, I'm wearing it again. Yes, it's July I think that pride month should be all year long fierce ally right here Trying at me. Okay, anyhow into other stuff uh, Still I'm going strong with the uh, The uh, meal delivery thing where they deliver you the ingredients and, and, and everything for the specific meals that you choose I'm using every plate, not sponsored. It has been really yummy. The only problem, we've had two boxes damaged. I think they were just damaged when in the UPS warehouse. Uh, one was really damaged and it was like coming apart at the seam and it was retaped up and everything, but the food in it was still cold. The next one was uh, just a little bit damaged in the corner. It is traveling quite a ways and then it has to make it out here to rural land. So there's that. But it's been yummy, and I have not chosen a repeat meal yet. I keep wanting to try their new things and other things. Uh, some things I'm going to want to have to repeat because they were just really good. So if you haven't ever tried one, that's one of the cheaper ones out there. Try it. You're not going to lose anything. You're going to get food. For us, for the two of us, including shipping, that's doing five days a week of meals. You can do like, you know, one or two or three if you want. Um... It, with shipping, it's like 60 something dollars. Now you think, oh wow, that's a lot. No, it really isn't because otherwise we would probably go out for a couple of those days and spend way more than that. So for us, it's actually saving money. It's helping us to eat better and stay at home. Yes. So I'm liking it so far. What I don't like is pretty much every night after work, I am cooking dinner now. And I haven't chosen any of the really super quick and easy. There are some that are super quick and easy and some that are like, you know, more into it. The ones that I have so far have been more into it where I'm like actively cooking for most of 40 minutes to an hour. Um, so there's that. But I don't do the dishes. Say, so, no, no. I'm cooking. Hey, you doing the dishes. So we work it out. You know, always a team. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyhow, I'm getting hungry now that I'm thinking about it because I'm recording this and I haven't eaten anything yet. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> the video for the uh, Yarnivore's monthly theme, the finish up for the June video, mine will be up. I did send y'all's names who sent me pictures to the person who was doing the drawing and she has already done the drawing and that video is up. I'm just running late. Uh, my video for July will be up soon. I'm getting there, folks. I'm getting there. It has been a busy time, a very busy time. So, yeah, keep up with that, y'all. Come on, Oscar. You gonna come say hi? No, he's gonna sit there and just be cat over there and not let me get him. Come here. Oh, he's coming this way. Maybe I'll pick him up and you'll get to see Oscar. There he is. Bring him in close. Come here. So you can all see that pretty face of his. He is so adorable. He is. He knows he's adorable. He does. I don't know if you were a part of uh, Lisa Ladybird Loves Live the other day on her Friday Live. I sent her a picture, a picture of him 12 years ago when he was just a kitten. He was teeny then and he is still teeny now. Aren't you? Your mama's teeny boy. He's purring. He doesn't care. I'm holding him, so he's happy. So, yes, your daily visit, or your, at least your weekly visit, from Oscar. Oh, that sweet face. See, you wonder why I adore him so. It's that sweet little face, isn't it? He's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> I gotta put him down now, because we got crochet to talk about. Thank you, sweet Oscar. Under crochet. I know you wanted the crochet. I want the crochet. That is to let you know about a sort of, this part is finished, but there's more to come. Uh, this is the make along, part of a make along that I'm doing with Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. She's doing the hashtag rock 2022 AU, um, two week, two times a month, the first and the 15th. She chooses, or someone in her family, or somebody chooses an album for us to be inspired by, or inspired by the genre, or by the artist, or however we want to do it. I have chosen to be inspired by each of the album covers. This one, which I will have a picture of at the end, uh, along with the picture of uh, the album it was inspired by. Very muted colors on here, just one stripe of red and there's a little bit of gray and stuff. It was Elton John's greatest hits from way back in the day. He's had a lot more greatest hits since then because he's like a hit making machine. But Elton John, greatest hits. Yes, this one was neat to do. Uh, all of this is either Red Heart Super Saver or um, Big Twist, hello, Big Twist. And this was the Red Heart Sparkle with Love here because the red is sparkly. None of the others are sparkly on here. But yeah, I just, I have this big thing of yarn now with all these different colors. And I go, what colors do I need? And I pull this out and pull this out and pull this out. And I emerge with colors to put in my square. I'm looking at my pile of squares over there. Y'all, we're getting a lot of squares. This blanket is going to be huge. This is going to be, it was inspired by somebody's like stained glass blanket design. This is just simple corner to corner. Um, and at the end of the year, or maybe before I'll start doing it, I'll put them together and maybe put a border around it. Maybe not. It's going to be huge. <laughs> huge. Speaking of huge, you know, the thing is a big old blanket like that. I am downsizing my bed. Um, I currently have a king size bed in here. I don't really need it. And it yes, the hubby and I have and always will be together. But we have for years had separate bedrooms because I am very loud at sleeping. I use a CPAP, but still, I'm loud. He also is loud at sleeping. And we both have different sleep schedules. And I usually have to get up very early for work. So we found years ago that it was just easier for us to have two different bedrooms, you know, to sleep. So I'm downsizing my bed to a full-size bed. And it's gonna give me a lot more room in this room. This is a huge room though. I got the biggest room in the house. <laughs> Um, but all of my yarn is in here too, so no. Um, but yeah, I'm downsizing and I have purchased a set of sheets. I've purchased a mattress and a bed frame. The trick is going to be getting this king size out of here and out to someplace else. We don't own a truck. We're gonna have to hire somebody to pick this up. So we're gonna find out 
if just picking this stuff will be beneficial or if we should just get a whole bunch of junk and have somebody pick it up. Because you know, you can always do a clear out and get rid of junk to be hauled away. It's true. It's so true. Anyway, that's on the agenda as well. That's part of life going on. Um, something else that I have sort of finished but is a work in progress still is my temperature blanket. I don't have any little pieces to show you today because just last night I sewed on that last row of 19 there. Look at all the dark colors on that sucker. Yes, it has been quite warm. And you'll notice at the very end, there's a light colored one with a seven on it. At least it kind of looks like a seven. Yeah, my number making skills are not very good. But that starts July. So when I put the square on for yesterday's temperature, I'll have a little separate row. And then I'll sew them all on when I get 19. And the way I'm keeping up with it is because I don't want to fall behind. I know if I fall behind, I will end up so discouraged and it will just really play on me. Sorry for the jump. I have a little cough and sneeze thing about to happen and thought I'd nip it and not put it on camera. Okay. But yeah, it's been really fun to watch it go together every day. It's fun to watch that huge basket of yarn that I have for this going down, down, down. <laughs> it's like, oh gosh, I hope I have enough of this color and that color. And if I don't, I'll figure it out. I can just order more from Hobie. Uh, yeah, this is Hobie Amigo DK. I made it in DK on purpose because I didn't want it to be too huge. So it's going to be a nice size little blanket. I will border it somehow, some way. Uh, in case you're new here, the inside color represents the low temperature, the outside color, the high temperature. And I'm joining everything in white on purpose. And there are numbers like this tells it's 22 for the year. This is one for January for, you know, for the first month and so on and so forth. 19 squares across, it'll be 20 rows down by the time it's all said and done. There are a few random squares with just like random designs in them because I had to, you know, it had to math. So that's a thing. But I am so excited how this is coming and we are almost halfway done. Look at this. I'm just tickled. I love the colors. It is so pretty, if I do say so myself. Anyhow. Uh, there's one more thing. There is an actual honest to goodness finished object. I know I should have told you to sit down first, right? Yeah, it surprised me too. This is one that I started like last year sometime and I still have it shoved in my little bag here. Yes, those of you who've been watching know what this is. This is a bag, a kit that I won for a bag. It was for Hispanic Heritage appreciation month or something came with the handles came with the tassels it did not show bordering in the contrasting color but I decided to do that anyway because it came with that yarn um I think I want to do something else with it though because you know it's kind of floppy because hello it's crochet but I might do a little something with some plastic canvas to line the inside and just tack it in there um or tie it in or something so that it has a little more structure because this, when you set it down, look what it does. Bloop. <laughs> because it's just cotton yarn. It is a Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, which I have found I love working with. It's a beautiful cotton. And yeah, I've really enjoyed it. But I won it on Insta. So, you know, the handles it came with, I had no idea how I was supposed to connect them. So this is what I did. Um, and it also came with this pink color. And I didn't know what else to do with it. I thought about putting a border around the top in the pink, but I don't know. But anyway, it is finished until I, until or unless I decide to do something else with it. But yeah, I actually finished it. Yes. While watching TV, of course, uh, hubby and I were, I think I was watching one of the Star Trek iterations, uh, probably Strange New Worlds, which is awesome. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. Love me some Strange New Worlds. And yes, I am behind on Stranger Things. I will watch it though because I love Stranger Things and everybody's been talking about it and then the second half of the season just came out and I'm like I haven't watched the first half yet I told you I'm behind on everything I am behind on watching everybody's videos so if you haven't heard from me in a while on your videos that's why I didn't start hating everybody I just 
I've just been behind. With the new role at work, um, it takes a little more concentration from me, especially at first, because I want to make sure I get all the things right, all the reports I have to run and stuff. So I haven't been watching a lot of videos while I work or watch listening, you know, watching, watching. I don't know how to say that where I'm, I'm only, like keep one eye on the video and one eye on your work, you know, because that's a thing, but it's been tough. So I have not been doing that. <sighs> Makes me sad because I miss seeing you guys. Um, this community has been so much fun for me and I really enjoy it. And when I, when I miss seeing people's videos, especially, you know, I'm not even necessarily talking to big people who, you know, give away all the things. They are fun too, but just, you know, people, people like you, like me, we are just people and we like to share our things on the YouTubes because it's fun. <laughs> I hope you pay attention to hot taste, even if you don't like hot things, because I was actually sent a really cool gift, and I'll talk about it more on hot taste. I tasted the first part of it um, this past uh, hot taste, and there will be more coming up. And on the past video, it, I left a, in a comment in there, basically, I said, hey, choose which thing you want me to try next. So watch that video. Tell me which one you want me to try next. And whichever one gets the most votes, I will try it next because there were three things in there. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Kind of scared about it. I'm just saying. Because it's going to be hot. It's, it's going to be, I think it's going to be hot. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm always like, is it going to be too hot? Is it going to burn my face off? It might. It just might. But I do appreciate you coming by and sticking around all the way to this far because I know you got things to do as well. <laughs> I will hopefully see you very, very soon. I have some uh, magazine flip throughs to record. I've got the new crochet exclamation point magazine. It's been still sitting in its wrapper. I have the new crochet world. Same thing. <sighs> I need more hours in a day. I still need more hours in a day. Time. What is it? Anyway, enough with the philosophy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of whatever day this is for you, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.